Hey guys, so I wanted to do a video on how I made my homemade sweet potato baby food. I just start by washing the food really good. Okay, so then I grabbed my potato peeler and I took off all the skin. And then next I just took a knife and I got one other little chunk that was kind of divoted. And then I took the knife and I cut the potatoes in half and then again the other way. Um, and then I cut it up into little chunks so that I could go ahead and seam it in my Beaba Baby Cook. So this day I had my daycare kids so I just waited for them to settle down so I caught everything up and put it in the fridge um, and then I went back and I steamed the stuff up. Okay so then first things first I made some coffee and then I went ahead and took my Beaba Baby Cook um, cup and steamer cup out of the dishwasher. And then here I'm getting Kylie ready in her high chair so that once the food is ready, I can go ahead and give her some food because it was about that time for her to eat. And Kylie is currently on salads twice a day. Um, here right now I'm just giving her her puffs, which she hates by the way, and then her cookies, which she does like, but she hates the puffs and hates the yogurt. Um, here everything is done steaming. So I'm adding the breast milk to the food and I'm blending it up. Here I'm just showing you that I have it at the consistency that I want. Kylie is now eating food that's thicker so you'll see here that I have a harder time just pouring the food versus um, doing what I'm doing here. I'm using the spatula and putting it in there um, because it is thicker. It doesn't pour out as nicely as it was when I had it a lot more watery. And not that I need to show this again, but this is my second batch. I actually did three batches, two full batches, and then one little tiny batch I did the next day. Um, but I'm just blending it up, getting it to the consistency that I want with the breast milk and the steamed water. Um, let me add to, I all the steamed water I kept in, and then I added the potatoes to the steamed water, and then I put my breast milk um, as much as I needed. And then I just went ahead and blended it up, I put it in my freezer trays, and then here is Kylie eating her food. She loves food. Seriously. Anything sweet she doesn't like. We started with the um, rice cereal and the oatmeal, and she loved it. And then once we started doing actual food, like the carrots, and then we did the butternut squash, and then now we did, we did the um, sweet potato. Now that we've done that, when she eats the oatmeal, she doesn't like it. I don't know if it's because it's sweet, but she just, she doesn't like it. Um, but I'm not complaining because she eats the rest of her food so good. Um, but yeah, so here is a clip of her eating the food, and then I will add at the end, there is a part where she actually is choking on the food, so I don't know if I didn't blend up a part. Um, but I just kept it in there just because that's what happened this day when she was eating her food. Okay, so a couple things that I did want to add. Um, with the baby food I made, um, I did, like I said, I keep all the steamed water. Um, so I cut up the pieces of the, um, the sweet potato. Once that's cut up, I go ahead and steam it. And once it's steamed, all the steamed water will end up in the cup. And so I keep it all in the cup, and then I take the food, and I dump it into the cup. Um, so, obviously, like I said, I keep every ounce of steamed water, and then I also add breast milk to that as well. Another thing that I wanted to add is, so I've been freezing her baby food, so I haven't came down with a system until this week actually um, after I talked to my mom about everything 
at first what I was doing is I was just taking everything right out of the freezer. Kylie's been eating about four ounces each feeding. Kylie. And so each time that she was ready to feed, I would just go ahead and grab four ounces, put it in the mason, I'm sorry, mason jar, and then put it into the steamer tray of my Viva Baby Cook. And then I fill my, um, my cup up to one and then I pour it into the reservoir and I let it steam and I just stir it periodically and then I'll give her the food but every time I do that she's always fussy because she wants to eat now um, so when I was talking to my mom about it she told me well I don't know I feel like it takes quite a long time for it to be de-thawed fully right out of the freezer and she told me why don't I just um, take it out of the freezer the night before so however much she's going to eat for the next day, and then it will dethaw by the next time I'm going to go feed her the next day. So now what I've been doing is just taking it out the night before, and then come 12 o'clock the next day, everything's dethawed. All I have to do is warm it up, so it literally doesn't even take the full time. Um, when you fill the cup up to one, it doesn't take that full time. Um, so I go ahead and stir it a little bit, and then I take it all back out, and then I let the rest of the water steam because you're not so so keep steamed water or keep water in the reservoir unless it's fully steamed if that makes sense another thing I wanted to add was <clears throat> I have two different ways of freezing my baby food and I have a larger tray that has one um, each cube is one ounce and those are by mommy and bubby and then I also have Nook and Garden Fresh trays as well. I love the Nook ones. Do not like the Garden Fresh ones. Okay, and I'm going to interrupt. This is where Kylie starts to choke, and I didn't realize, so I put more food in her mouth, and then I grabbed the tray down and made sure that she was okay. I don't know what she was choking on, but as soon as I took the tray down, she was completely fine. So all you're going to see right now is this, and this is her tray, and the camera tipped over on the tray. Okay, so there is still some stuff that I wanted to talk about, but um, like I was saying, there are three different trays that I use. I use the Mummy and Bubby Clear tray that you see me dumping some of my food into, as well as the green tray that was a nubby tray. It has soft sides that make it easy to pop the food out, um, and those are two ounce trays. The Mummy and Bubby trays, the clear one, that is a one ounce tray, so each cube is one ounce. And then I also have another tray that looks just like the Nubby tray that I was pouring the food into. They're both green. Um, the Garden Fresh one is a lot harder sides and it makes it harder to pop the food out once it's frozen. So I like the Nubby brand a lot better and I will be getting more of those. Okay, so I like the Nubby trays a lot better now because she's eating up to 4 ounces each feeding. Um, at first she was not fully set on eating salads, so I was just doing one, one to two ounces per feeding. So the mummy and bubby trays were a lot easier because I could just grab one ounce at a time versus having to dethaw two ounces and her not finish off the food. Okay, so last but not least, um, I did want to mention what I'm doing, um, with Kylie trying her new foods. So first off we started out with carrots for a week and then the second week we did butternut squash. Now once I knew that she was okay and didn't have any reactions to the carrots, I went ahead and combined the butternut squash with the carrots instead of just having the butternut squash because that way if she had a reaction, I already know that for that whole week she was okay with carrots so it's not the carrots. It's only, It's got to be the butternut squash. Now then the third week we're doing um, sweet potatoes and I know that she's been okay with carrots and butternut squash so I can combine those two into the sweet potatoes and if she has a reaction then I know it's from the sweet, the sweet potatoes. So that's kind of my idea of what I've been doing with her um, baby food and reactions. So far she hasn't had a reaction from anything. I did try banana and that I think was a mistake. Um, she did have a um, upset stomach after that but it could just be normal. Um, but yeah, so that is how I have been um, trying different baby foods and how long I've been going for each food. 
So I know this homemade baby food sweet potato screen is not the nicest to look at, but I didn't have much more video to go off of, and I did have more information that I wanted to go over. Um, so that is my routine on making my baby food. I did sweet potatoes this week, and then um, let me know if you have any other questions on making baby food um, or my process that I go through. I do plan on making a video today. It's going to be my nursery tour. Um, hopefully I'm doing that today. Um, but yeah, so that is my video. If you have any questions, please list them in the comments below. If you have any suggestions on videos, please let me know. And other than that, I will see you in my next video, and thank you for watching.